Hey, and welcome to the tutorial on Bird of Paradise. This is a pose for experienced yogis. So I ask that you rather try this for the first time with an experienced teacher in class or in a private session. But I will give you a couple of tips and uh, ways that you can prepare your body and get ready to get into this pose. What we want to do is we want to open the hips. So we're going to take the right ankle and place it above the left knee and get into a reclined pigeon. Ideally, you'll stay in each of these poses for longer periods of time than I'm doing in this video. I'm really just giving you an idea of some of the stretches that can get your body ready. You want to have open hips, open hamstrings, side body, and then just switching sides here. Yeah. Uh, side body as well as uh, want to work on control and balance. So those are all poses we're going to work on today. Make sure you have a bit of a warm up before you get to where we are now. Barakanasana or bound angle, bringing the soles of the feet together and the knees out, creating that diamond shape. And to slowly open the shoulders, we bring the arms above the head. Relax into this. And again, just breathe and relax your body. The more you can relax, the more the body will open up for you. This is the inner thigh stretch, opening the hips and working on the correct hip rotation for our bird of paradise. I'm going to extend the right leg up. This is for a hamstring stretch. You can use a strap or you can hold onto a toe or the back of the leg for this stretch. And then slowly increasing the stretch behind the leg. Then if you want to feel more, you're extending the other leg or the opposite leg and increasing sensation. Slowly, slowly opening up here and take your time. Pause the video or watch only to get a few ideas and then switching sides of course so the hamstrings need to be nice and open we'll do a few different hamstring stretches to get us prepared and ready and then that deepest stretch by extending right leg all the way down pressing through the heel and flexing the foot or the toe towards the face going to give you more sensation more sensation allows the body to open up. And then rolling up to seated. And coming onto our stomachs. Um, we're going to open the shoulders here. Left arm, I'm going to do the left arm first so you can see how I'm doing it. Rolling onto that left arm. You want to have the wrist in line with the shoulder. And then that top knee can either lie down or you can extend it up and the right foot can be behind the extended leg or in front of and then if you want to passively open the right shoulder you just bring it behind you as well so right here you want to relax the hips you want to relax into that shoulder and you want to stay here for definitely longer than i have in this video i'm going to switch sides here so you see it from the other side Each time you get into a pose, just finding yourself as comfortable as you can and then deciding if you want to take that left arm, take it behind you or just keep it in front for support. The right shoulder is the one that we're focusing on here. Yeah. And then coming to seated, I want to get a side body stretch. So the right arm extends to the right side, left arm up. You want to stack the shoulders and the hips on top of each other and really lengthen from the hip to the fingertips. And then stay there as long as you want and then changing sides. Making sure that everything feels very open, as open and extended as you can get it, but still relaxed and warm. I'm taking my hands behind me, interlacing, pressing the heels of the hands together and then releasing the hands up away from the floor. This is almost like the stretch that we did before lying on our stomachs, but now we're putting a little more strength into it, lifting up and then releasing. Come into your tabletop. We're going to come into a lizard pose. You want to find the length on the left side. Right knee on top of the ankle, no further. 
I'm going to place both hands on the inside of the right foot for a lizard. And this sensation, this wrapping or bringing the right shoulder underneath that knee, you'll see it better on the other side, is what we will work towards in our bird of paradise. We want to get that sensation or that feel on this side. Going for a nice deep hamstring stretch. Remember, I'm going and moving quickly through these poses. You're going to pause and you're going to stay for longer. I want to make sure that this is brief and shows you as much as possible in a couple of minutes. Come on, getting into the other side. Same thing. This time you're going to see better how the shoulder works underneath that knee. And this also is a prep for another arm balance that I might do a tutorial for later. But that sensation, that bringing under is what we're looking for in our bird of paradise. And then coming into the hamstring stretch, Ada Hanamanasana, half split. Right here, I'm going to keep the hips on top of the knees, not press the hips too far back towards the heel. It's all sensation. Getting as much out of the pose as you can. And then bringing that leg back. Pigeon pose. You want to bring the shin of the right leg parallel with the front of your mat. And then slowly coming down. Now, if that heel needs to come closer to the hip, that's fine. But this is the this is where we want to work towards is that shin parallel with the front of the mat. And I'm doing it briefly. Yeah, this is definitely a pose I would stay in for 10, maybe 20 breaths. And then relaxing into both sides. Just a quick little wrap around and change over here. Yeah? Same thing. You want to center the body so the torso is right in the center of the shin and then the hips is the hips are balanced. You're not balancing too much on the left side or the right side. We tend to lean over to the left in this in this side. And then coming out of that, we're going to come to a standing poses. I want to work on control and balance, shifting the weight to the left foot. Right sole of the foot comes to the inner thigh. Working that right knee to the back of the room so that the hips are completely in line. And then noticing those little wobbles. That's your teacher. That's going. That's what you're going to need in your bird of paradise. You need to be able to shift your balance from side to side in order to keep the balance. So this tree is a great way to prepare for your bird of paradise. And every step from now on is just that. You don't need to nail the pose completely and get it completely right. What you want to do is learn the lessons from each pose. You can even close the eyes here and get in touch with that inner balance. Hand to toe. You can use a strap for this one or you can bind like I am with my fingers. You want to bring that right hip back into the socket and then open it up to the right side. Now, the left side of the body needs to be nice and straight. We do not want to lift the foot up and swing the hip to the opposite direction. We want to have a nice straight line. And then we'll do the other side. Same thing, plug the hip back into the socket and then as you open it, yes, keeping the balance and keeping that straight line now on the right side of the body. So the hip stays in its natural position. And bring it back. I'm going to come into a downward facing dog. It's another nice hamstring stretch. So if you need that, need more opening, stay here. Otherwise, the right foot comes forward. And left hand on the inside of the foot. And the back foot is as if you're coming into that warrior two. The toes are pointing towards the front. Now we're going to work that right shoulder underneath the knee and the thigh. And then see if you can create that bind. If you don't get a bind with the hands, you can take a strap here. The fun part. Left foot comes into the center. You shift the crown of your head forward. Slowly shift the balance to the left foot and begin to rise up. 
taking your time. This is, this is absolute time and control. Now you want to bring the shoulders to face forward, nice and square with the shoulders. And only when the shoulders are square and the hips feel natural, does the right leg extend. So whenever you're in a pose, you want to take a few deep breaths. You want to learn as much as you can with regards to control and balance. And then coming out is just as important. Bending the knee, placing the foot down, shifting the back foot back, come back into the pose that brought you in. Nice. I'm going to come back to a down dog. And then I'm going to do the other side so you can see what it looks like from the back. Side angle. The bind. Bring the right foot in, shift the balance to the right foot. Left foot begins to extend up. Control, nice straight line, shoulder shifts back and then leg rises up. Couple of breaths here and then bring it down with control. And side angle and then you're done. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. It's quick. If you've got any questions, please place them in the notes below. Namaste.